Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men. Topic for this video is, I was a jerk, now I miss her. You might look at your past relationship and realize, wow, I made some mistakes there. I'm human, I feel guilty about that. I feel ashamed about my behavior. I feel ashamed or guilty about not having been present or responsive to her needs. Maybe I neglected her, maybe I was not really the best possible partner. And now that she broke up, now that she's away, you might be in the guilt zone. And uh, guilt is a very funny thing. Guilt has a certain purpose in our lives or in our minds to make us evolve, right? When you are in guilt mode, what you do is you are analyzing and checking in certain behaviors or certain values that might be out of alignment inside of you. Suppose that, for instance, you were abusive with her. Or imagine that you cheated on her or you lied to her. And then you feel guilty about it. What you are saying is that there is something there which is out of resonance with my system. I don't like doing that. I don't like being that person. I want to evolve. I want to be somebody else. I want to shift my values. I no longer want to lie. I don't want to cheat. God knows, you know, it could be anything. But the point is that there is a shadow there in your system. There is a flaw. There is something that can evolve, something that can change. And so the guilt stays there for as long as you don't get it. The guilt stays in your system because there is a message or something that is out of dissonance and it creates like this kind of uh, something that is uneasy, that doesn't flow in your field. And very often you will stay in guilt mode or in the, sh the shadow mode or into shame mode, feeling ashamed of certain things until you really get it and until you make a change, a fundamental change in how you stand in life. And so here is the thing. You are human. It's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to do certain things that you might regret later. It's okay to have certain experiences that you might call mistakes. Learn from them, evolve, and then change your behavior. So in this process of change, what you are doing is like, okay, I'm feeling the guilt. I'm identifying the core values or the core behaviors that I want to change. And then I'm going to do that in the future. It's like you apologize to yourself. And you go like, I can see the choice I made in the past would no longer serve me. So if I was confronted with the same situation again in the future, here is what I would do instead. This is the idea. You look at yourself, you look at your behaviors, and you identify exactly the core behaviors or actions that you would change. And you will notice that once you start practicing that, and you might even go to your ex, you might go like, you know what, I've been checking what happened in our relationship, <clears throat> and I want to apologize to you about certain things that I did. I neglected you, I worked too much, I was not present enough, I didn't respond when you needed me, and this is not an invitation for us to get back together, but I want you to know that I get it. And if I was in a new relationship in the future, the new women in, that will come into my life, I will remember that. And my intention is to behave differently, to be more responsive when my girlfriend needs me, to be more present, to be a better listener maybe to understand exactly where those changes can be made and then change that behavior. So sometimes you are going to be in situations where it's okay to go and apologize to your ex. 
to give her a solid apology with understanding about what you feel you did wrong and what you will do differently in the future when you would be confronted with the same situations again. This is a conscious apology. apology. It's not just, hey, I'm sorry about that, you know, which is vague, ungrounded. You go like, no, I understand. I get it. I understand why this hurt you, and I will behave in a different way in the future. You will notice that once you get it, the guilt and the shame dissolve because the trigger is gone. It's like you get, you get it, you understand the message, and then you can move on. So once you understand the core behavior that you want to change, guilt is no longer needed. Guilt and shame are not very useful emotions once you make the change. Regretting something that you did in the past and keeping that in your system, you know, regretting it forever is not a very good idea. So once you understand, let go of the guilt, say this to yourself, I am human. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I'm not perfect. And that's okay. I forgive myself. I accept myself. I accept that my life is an experiment. I accept the fact that I'm evolving. You don't have to hold on to that guilt or to that shame, okay? This is the core idea for right now. You are human. You might have messed up. You will do better next time.